a little more laser news on the uh, Commarker B4, 50 watt. I've been progressing gently with this 4mm scale Garrett. Uh, it's a Snade Colliery Garrett. What you see here is all either printed on my old Mars 2 Pro or uh, all the metalwork is laser cut on the com marker and it's done very well um, there's as I say more progress uh, you can see we now have foot plate on uh, the engines but also uh, little details like lifting eyes and steps on the tanks these are obviously laser cut um, it's a it's a really good way of doing it it's small detail and uh, what you can't see here and forgive the uh, movement of the phone um, obviously it's drawn as you see but what you don't see on the bottom detail of this is two small prongs 0.5 of a mil uh, in width and about three mil long uh, uh, on the bottom of what you see and uh, those are obviously laser cut as part of this triangle and I've just drilled uh, a 0.5 mil hole down each end of this of the print so uh, that is then uh, once done inserted one prong down each hole pushed in tight and then the prongs are epoxied uh, internally and that is then secured and, and just bent over at the requisite angle very easily done exactly the same with the step so it's effectively just a small flat plate, but with two prongs added to the laser cutting uh, and pushed through and lasered. In fact, even this lamp, bra lamp bracket, which is very small, is a laser cutting with a single prong uh, and that single hole through there pushed through and again uh, in fact, bent over on the inside and epoxied for security. So it's a nice, easy way of uh, doing uh, details uh, with this very nice lazy, uh, laser cutter, which I'm not yet bored of. So um, very happy with the toy. Um, other than that, you've, uh, you've seen... Uh, how how the rest of it um is done so so that's that now uh as you also know uh, years ago i bought um a little diode laser it was an emblazer one uh 2016 when it first came out and a really really useful bit of kit it was and uh i used a lot of Trotec, which was a sort of black plastic card type stuff, and I used to make all sorts of stuff with that. Now, unfortunately, they changed the formulation of that, and in consequence, the emblazer wouldn't cut it anymore. One of the things I made with that was gears, and uh, my 014 radio controlled steam crane had gears laser cut on that, as did a, a, a few other models. And uh, occasionally being able to cut gears, uh, I found very, very useful. Um, now, my Stepcraft, lovely, useful machine uh, that it is, and of course, that's the Stepcraft there. Really, really useful machine. But actually, the cutter is too big to usefully uh, cut 
small gears it's one of the few things i really can't get it to do so can't do that um but i did wonder whether my com marker might be able to cut gears for me so i had a thought i might have a go at that this afternoon now uh gears that's what i'm talking about um nice uh little gears which uh, I used to use for transmitting drive from one axle to another uh, and also drive from uh, servo to uh, whatever the servo might be driving. As I say, just occasionally very, very useful to be able to do. So, um, uh, now the com marker... Um, has its limitations but I had a go and um, there we go some very nice little gears cut on the com marker now um, these are what they're about 12 mil diameter these are exactly the same gears I used on the 14 mil um, steam crane that's the 014 so 7 mil scale um, these are uh, about half mil thick uh, so what uh, I would do with these is laminate two or three together uh, to give me the thickness I wanted now um, they've come out very cleanly I've uh, filed the surfaces only, both surfaces, to get rid of the dross. Uh, but I haven't done anything to the actual uh, gear teeth themselves. That's just as it comes out the laser. So um, that's really, really useful for me. Um, and very good for me for... Uh, for let's say the largest 7 mil models um, yeah you can you can get get an idea of scale from that shot there with my uh, ring finger so you know very very useful however can we do better and the answer is um, yeah we can we can do better if I can find it. There we go. Um, if that one was a 7mm, that is exactly the same mil, uh, same one reduced to 4mm uh, scale. Let me put it there. Um, that's a decent image. Now, that is small. Again, I've cleaned up the faces, but done nothing with the teeth. And generally, that is pretty good. The hole also in the centre is laser cut. And I should be quite happy to put that in uh, a slow speed mechanism. Uh, by slow speed mechanism, I mean the final drive, uh, axle to axle, or something like that. Uh, uh, it might be it might be fine um, at, at, at higher speeds, um, but uh, I had, would have no qualms at all about that uh, at the at the lower speed. This is nickel silver, again. It's uh, uh, it's in fact about 0.6 mil that uh, th uh, a, a set of four of these took about two minutes to cut. Um, let me uh, that's a pair of them uh, on a brooch, and you can see those uh, would work or could work together as a pair to give 
uh, about a, a 1.2 uh, thickness and uh, work work very very well so what I'm saying is uh, this thing will produce uh, viable gears um, for many of our purposes certainly uh, I propose to use gears um, from from this machine it's it's solved it's solved a problem for me um, and uh, may be useful for other people uh, thought you might be interested <laughs>